Hey guys, I thought this looked like a fun one. It says find the perimeter of this triangle. The first instincts are just to add up the sides. We have the x plus 5 plus the x plus 3 plus the 2x plus 4. And then we can simplify that x plus x plus x is 4x. And 5 plus 3 plus 4 is 12. And we can put a box around that. But we can actually do better than this. This is a right triangle, so we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We can plug in these three sides for a, b, and c. To find x plus 3 squared, we have to multiply the whole x plus 3 times x plus 3. Same thing for these other two. So x plus 3 times x plus 3, we can multiply that out and get x squared plus 6x plus 9. We can multiply this out to get this, and we can multiply this out to get this. And then x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. 6x plus 10x is 16x, and 9 plus 5 is 34. And we can bring this stuff down. So I want to set this all equal to 0, so I'm going to subtract 2x squared from both sides, subtract 16x from both sides, and subtract 34 from both sides. Left-hand side is now 0, and 4x squared minus 2x squared is 2x squared. 16x minus 16x is nothing and 16 minus 34 is negative 18. Scoot this over, divide both sides by 2, we get 0 equals x squared minus 9. We can add 9 to both sides, and we get 9 equals x squared. After we square root both sides, we get x equals positive 3 or negative 3. So let's check these answers. If we plug in negative 3, this becomes 2. This one would become 0, and this one would become negative 2. But we can't have negative distances, so x minus 3 is not possible. Now let's try plugging in x equals 3. 3 plus 5 is 8, 3 plus 3 is 6, and 6 plus 4 is 10. 8 plus 6 is 14 plus 10 is 24. That is the answer to our question. So both of these are correct, but let's get rid of this red box. I'd say this one is more simplified. How exciting.